So, I'm probably like most of you guys. I've been playing Borderlands 4 for the past week or so on my RTX 3070. I've been struggling to get literally more than 45 FPS and maybe 55 in some less populated areas. I never really get over 60 FPS whatsoever. And for this card, that's just unheard of in any game, especially on the lowest settings at 1080p. It's just not fun when you're sitting here playing on an FPS that you got back in 2010 on your Xbox 360. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of this crappy FPS. We're going to be able to get upwards of 80 to 100 FPS, but that's pretty much depending on your system. If you have an RTX 2070 or higher though, this should work pretty much for everybody and you should be able to get well over 60 FPS. So first off, I'm sure most of you guys already have this, but we're just going to want to make sure that your shader cache is set to size 100 gigabytes, which is the max. And this doesn't affect FPS as much as it just makes loading shaders in your world a lot faster. You're just going to want to make sure that your settings are set to the lowest as possible, going down the list and turning everything off. Then this next step is very important. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're going to want to change this setting to DLSS and we're going to want to put it on balance. And then this next step is probably the most important, more important than the last one. We're going to want to make sure we turn frame gen on. And if this option isn't showing up for you, I'm going to show you guys real quick on how to get this option. So all you're going to want to do is go down in the description, download this DLSS enabler. It's in the description down below, top of the description. How many times am I going to say description? Anyways, you're going to want to install that and then open the folder where you installed it and copy and paste it into your files inside the folder to Borderlands 4, then open to Oak Games, then Binaries, then Windows 64. And if you get an option to overwrite it, click yes and make sure to back up your game just in case anything bad happens all right now that you've done that we can go back into our games and go to our options and the frame generation box should be able to be turned on now pretty much it guys if you still don't have over 60 fps um hopefully hopefully they just put out an update soon that fixes this issue but for 99 percent of you if you're struggling to get over 60 fps on your 20 and 30 series graphics card this should fix 99 percent of your guys' issues i know this fixed my issue within seconds i mean it was just amazing i was sitting here playing on 50 fps and yeah it wasn't fun but now i'm getting look at these fps it's great so anyways if this helped you out in any way, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more amazing Borderlands 4 content, but I will see you all in the next one. Later.